Okay, I'm at the end of a busy day where I've already filmed this. So don't judge me too harshly. But today, today's video is going to be one that was inspired from watching two people I just love. And my love runs deep. It really does. It's Mary Ellen After 60's video and Kathy's Beauty Care Chats video. They both did a video on workhorse products. And I thought, oh, I want to do that. So I did. And it's this one. Every time I sit down to film, I get a phone call. So sorry about that. I don't know what I was saying. But uh, anyway, I want to do the video. I'm dividing it into two parts. The first part is like teeth, hair, skin, uh, body care. The next one is going to be makeup part two. So this is part one and we'll go ahead and get started. The first one are some hair accessories and this is the one that I'm going to talk about first. I've shown it before. It is the wide flat iron so I can use it to straighten my hair, put some heat on it, then put a Velcro roller in or I can use it to make big beachy waves. I love this. I got it at Sally's and it is super wide and it's by Hot Shots. Really like it. This one is a one and a quarter inch curling iron and I heard about this from Kim, the hip chick online. I like this one because it's extra long. So you can wrap your hair around it and it spreads the strands of your hair out, the piece out and everything gets curled evenly. Uh, I bought this a long time ago when she first showed it and I, I thought, oh, I gotta have that and I really like it a whole lot. It's also by Hot Shots. And this one is my workhorse three inch and so I will do it. I'll make a great big, it, it does a little bit t uh, more of a curl than the, the wide flat iron does. So I will make a curl and hold it and then uh, I will put a Velcro roller in. So I really like that a whole lot. This is a great one and it's also from Hot Tools. And speaking of Velcro rollers, these are my Velcro rollers and it is, um, I got them at Sally's. They are for delicate hair and I really, really like them a lot because they don't pull. I'm real tender headed and it doesn't pull my hair out as much as a regular Velcro roller does. I also have some that are real smooth, but these that hold, that grip some, uh, work a little bit better to make a better a better curl that holds more, but I really like these. And, and like I said, they don't pull your hair as much and I, I need a bit of hair I can hold on to. <laughs> I really do. My next one is the Kenra Volume Hairspray. I found out about this in 2013 or maybe 2012, but I've used it ever since. I have sprayed periodically, but I always come back to it. It holds, it stays wet for a while where you can style your hair, then you can spray it in either little spurts or just all over and it will just, it works beautifully. It will do exactly what you want it to do. I think this is about the hair, best hairspray there is. It's, it's absolutely wonderful. I'm just showing the conditioner, but I use the whole nioxin system and boy is it a workhorse for me. Now, it doesn't have anything in it that's supposed to work. It isn't like Rogaine or anything like that, that that is supposed to be more scientific. It doesn't have anything scientific in it. But I don't know, it just it just works for me when I don't use it. I like other shampoos too. I've got a whole thing of them in there. But when I get off of this, my hair starts shedding more. When I get back on it, it sheds less. So I swear by the Nioxin system. I use the three-part system, the shampoo, conditioner, and the leave-in treatment and just love them. But uh, like I said, I don't know why it seems to work for me because scientifically it probably shouldn't, but I really do like it. And another thing, I, it's not a workhorse yet, but I am starting to uh, derma roll my scalp right through here and right, right through here and right through here. And uh, I, I like the results so far. I'm not ready to say it's a workhorse, but I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Whenever I wear my hair curly, Curl Construct is what I like. It is from Garnier Curl Construct Extra Hold. This is the old packaging that's just about empty, but uh, I have a new one that has different packaging, but it's the same thing. So what I will do is, if I, if I wash my hair in the morning, I will put this like an egg size amount at least through my hair and then I will diffuse it. Or if I wash it at night, don't want to use heat, I will wash it at night and then put my hair in a great big scrunch on top of my head with these little clips that I'm going to show that are also workhorses. And just these 10, like 10 little clips all over my head. So it dries in a big scrunch. 
just, you know, and however your hair dries, that's how it's gonna stay. So I dry it overnight in a big scrunch doing that. But both times I always use this, this is great. It just is great. I mean, it will hold a curl, but it will keep it, it won't be too, it'll be firm, but not too scrunchy. And these are the little clips. I have a bunch of them, but that's what they look like. And I'll just put them all over my head. They're real cute. And I have different colors and, and they, they're plastic and they're just, I do it right here on top of my head so it doesn't interfere with my sleeping. So I really like these clips a lot. They're definitely workhorses too. Next is this little scrunchie. I use these. <laughs> It shouldn't make a difference, but it does. I use this when I do a messy bun, and I have learned to do a different messy bun. I'm gonna show it on Instagram. I'll try to bring in and show it over here too, but I'm gonna show it on Instagram because I like the way I do it now better. I made a video on different ways that I did it, but I like the way I'm doing it better now. But the thing I like about these, they're sort of that velvet material, so it's sort of sticky more, and so it holds your hair up. It, it really does. You don't have to use any bobby pins or anything. So I will put my hair up in a scrunchy bun, no bobby pins, tuck in any little ends that I want to do, kind of work with it a little bit, and it just stays all day. It'll stay 100 years <laughs> if I let it. I mean, it will just stay like crazy. So I love those, I really do. I think you can just, you can get them. I think I got mine at Walmart. Okay, moving on to skincare a little bit. Now, this is, I think I have talked about this, but the Shiseido uh, White Lucent, which was my holy grail. It was my workhorse. Well, they, of course, they discontinued it. So I looked around at the ingredients and I found uh, the same ingredients in the Shiseido Cleansing Foam Men's. I love this. I love this a whole lot. You only have to use a, I, I was using a dime size of the other Shiseido. You not only, I started using this a pea size, it foamed so well. I used a pea size and that was still too much. So just use like a little, little Lassure pea, you know, one of those little bitty tiny, tiny peas. That's all you need. I think they make it lather more because maybe men use it to shave with, but I really like it a whole lot. So this has definitely become a workhorse for me. I really, really like this a whole lot. And it's cheaper. Next is vitamin C serum. Um, I have two. I prefer the SkinCeuticals. I have tried ones that y'all have suggested to me. I have tried so many, but to me, there's nothing else that compares to the SkinCeuticals. I do not use the CE Ferulic Acid with the SkinCeuticals. I use the 20, AOX 20. And the reason is you have to be very careful with vitamin E because it can be derived from wheat germ and that can be a problem if you're gluten free. So, cause it could get in your eyes or the, you know, corners of your mouth or anything. But I love this. This I like real well too. And I mainly use it with trading off occasionally, you know, with the SkinCeuticals cause it's just ridiculously priced. Uh, this is the Timeless CE Ferulic Acid. It does have vitamin E in it, but Timeless checked with their sources that supply their vitamin E and it is not derived from wheat germ. So, um, if, if a company says it's gluten-free, unless they check how their vitamin E is made, they can't really say it's gluten-free. They have to know that it's not comes from wheat germs. So just throwing that out there. I know that Timeless does and it's really good. It is gluten-free, but I, I do like my SkinCeuticals. I use the vitamin C in the morning and then afterwards, you know, all this is repeat. Y'all seen this a million times, but then afterwards I use the Obagi Expoderm. I do not use the Expoderm Forte, which is a stronger acid. I use the regular Expoderm and it has phytic acid in it. So that's why I use it because the other, the Expoderm Forte just really stings my skin and just didn't ever seem to get better. So I really like this a whole lot. Very, a very good mild acid. It does a good job. So I'm not gonna talk a whole lot about these two. This is what I use at night, these two blended together. It is a little bit, you know, pea size amount in my palm. I mix them together. The blender, 4% hydroquinone in the United States. You cannot buy it online. You have to get it at the, uh, from a, a dermatologist. And the same with the Retin-A, uh, we're supposed to get it from a doctor, uh, you know, calling it into the drugstore. So that's what I do. Um, right now, this is an Obagi kind, but I will use generic whatever kind 
uh, of Trentinoin. I use the cream, I use the 0.1, and I always use the cream. A doctor told me one time that had studied under a Dr. Abaji, she told me to always use the cream Trentinoin with the Obaji products because they, they uh, did better, they worked better together. So I guess, I guess Tretinoin, maybe you can buy it in gel or something. I don't know, I've never used that because they always told me to use the cream, so that's what I do. 1% or 0.1% is what I use. But I always feel like you need to check with your doctor when using those two products, so just kind of briefly wanted to go over it. Okay, also skin, I love these. These are my Neutrogena wipes. They're makeup remover cleansing towelettes. I really like them a lot. The thing about these is you can use them over and over again, uh, the same one. Just let it dry out and take a different section of it and take off your makeup the next night with it. Let it dry out, use a different section, wet that part of it again, and use it to take off your mascara again. I wash my face, dry it off, and whatever's left over on my eyes, I use one of these. So I can get one to last me a while. So I, re I really do like them. I hate to give them up. <laughs> One more thing about skin, and this is just talking about the little washcloths that I knit, and just knit you some washcloths. If you can knit, 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 that's all it is, it's the knit stitch, and the good thing about that stitch is it makes little tiny bumps, and that's just gently, it's just the right amount of bumpiness to exfoliate very gently, effectively, but gently, gently. It just does a great job. Now. Uh, I just throw mine in hot water and, and a little bleach and bleach them out. I don't care. This started out as dark green. Uh, use 100% cotton yarn. You have to do that. And uh, I, to me, the cheaper the better. I like to get the cones uh, of yarn from uh, like Walmart that are real cheap, that are almost like string. You know, they're, they're really, really thick and they just make a real thick, good washcloth that will hold up and exfoliate well. They're real, they're nice. I like them a lot. So just, I don't know, just use like number six, however you wanna make it. Make it the size you want it to be. Make it the gauge that you want it to be. I use about a number six needle, maybe cast on 36 stitches. I don't know till it looks right to me and I knit till it looks right. There's no wrong way to do it. Just whatever works for you, whatever size works for you. So uh, 100%, be sure to use your 100% cotton though. You have to do that. This does not make any sense. No scientific evidence whatsoever, but I'm gonna tell y'all anyway, that these, this is a workhorse in conjunction with these gloves. This is any scent of the Bath and Body Works shower gel. I love this, and for some reason, I've, I've switched off and used other shower gels and enjoyed them, but my spots, I, I'm having, I'm always working to bring the spots all over my body down to more manageable. <laughs> I inherited a bunch of spots from my mother. I'm covered in them. So I'm working constantly to try to minimize them as much as possible. For some reason, the, the shower gels from Bath and Body Works do the trick with me. If I use these gloves to scrub with, I scrub my body like crazy. And I just, it just works. I don't know why it shouldn't. It's got, and it's got vitamin E in it. It must not be derived from wheat germ because it doesn't bother me. Because <laughs> I've used this for years. And if I do another body gel, my spots get just a little bit darker and they don't peel off as much. I don't know why. But it, like I said, it doesn't matter about the scent. I'll just get a scent that, you know, they're discontinuing because it'll be cheaper. I don't care. It's just the formula with these gloves. And these gloves I get from the body shop they used to, gosh, I've got, I haven't bought any about two years because I buy a bunch at a time. Five dollars. I use them forever until they just disintegrate and then throw them away and get another pair out of my drawer. Five dollars. I've tried the cheaper ones before. I just don't like them as well. These gloves and this body wash is just great for me. But the best thing, of course, is something that, with a little more science to it, glycolic acid. I like the Glytone glycolic acid. It is more expensive than others. It has a 17.5 free acid value. I did a video on why that's important. It has to do with the pH of the product that the acid is in and how effective it is. So uh, Glytone publishes their free acid value and so I will link that video below so you can, if you want to go listen to it. But I like this a lot. Do not use it after you shave your legs. It will sting so badly. It stings. 
uh, it, you can feel it working. You can definitely feel it working. Now, it will not make your spots go away. You gotta go professionally, you know, and have them blazered off, you know. It's not gonna do that. But it has faded my spots enough that I feel comfortable. You know, I live in the South. We have, we show our arms, we show our chest, we show our legs, and I feel more confident now. I, I was, I mean, I, I'm, I've always been embarrassed by those spots, and I, I got them, I started getting them early, you know, from sun, but mainly from inheriting, I think, from my mother. Uh, she was covered. Oh, she was covered. Uh, but um, this has made them fade and blend better, and I'll take it. It's good enough for me. I'll take it. Any improvement is good enough for me, and I did see some improvement and still continue to see some improvement, so I will always have this. Shop around. Sometimes uh, I will find a deal on uh, Lovely Skin, and sometimes I'll find a deal on Derm Store. So just shop around, but I love it. Glytone Glycolic Acid Exfoliating Body Lotion. It's just wonderful. And use it in conjunction with these two. <laughs> Even though there's no scientific evidence, I still like it. Get ready to edit. Realized I had left out two things. The first one is this foot buffer. It is by Diamond Cell. It's number 11, the extra strength uh, foot, I think it's extra strength foot buffer. I love this. I bought this in the 1990s, if not earlier, and I've had it ever since. Uh, it's like $49 it was back then. I have no idea how much it is now, but it will last you forever. I use it every day and then rinse it off with soap and water. Just a little squirt of soap takes three seconds and lay it out to dry. Uh, but I will, every night, I will buff my heels, buff my toes and the bottoms of my feet about, oh, 40 seconds on each side that I'm done. And, you know, I don't have the best feet in the world, but I, I, I think feet are kind of ugly. <laughs> so I can't judge, but I mean, I don't think I have the worst feet in the, in the world. They're smooth and I don't have any dead skin or anything like that. I just have always done this every day since the 90s. So, love this, definitely a workhorse. And then the last one is this toothpaste. I found out about this toothpaste a long time ago from Miss Crystal. She recommended it. It is the Aquafresh Extreme Clean Whitening Action. Uh, I, I used it for a long time, loved it, and then I did the Crest Glamour or something, and I liked it, but then it started making my mouth peel, so I went back to this and haven't been able to go to the dentist because of the pandemic, and uh, so I, this is just doing my teeth really, really well. I swear by it. I just love this toothpaste. I really do. I just think it whitens. It doesn't hurt my teeth. It doesn't make them sensitive. It just does a great job, so I love this toothpaste. Okay, back to back to signing off again. Okay, that is it. I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go eat me some supper and get this. See if I can get this online. I tell you what, I, I'm ridiculous doing videos anymore. I really am. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Everybody, please stay safe. Uh, watch after yourselves. I love you all and have a great weekend. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.